I searched online simple puzzles and I came up with idea to create my own puzzle and share my experience with you guys. The puzzle we are going to make will teach you how to make your own unique design in any size and any difficulty level. And it can be a great present for your friends and family, especially if you have dual extruder or just simply change filament during the print. Stick till the end of the video to see how I post processed my design. Hi guys, welcome to the Max 3D Design. And during this pandemic, it could not be anything better than learning how to 3D model in Fusion 360. So let's get started. So in the beginning, we have to prepare some materials. From internet, we will need to generate our puzzle. I will put the link in description below where you can easily access this website. So let's start with tiles. We need 4x4, four four, which in total will be 16 pieces of puzzle. Our size will be 200 by 200 millimeters, which is our print bed on Ender 3 in my case. You can play with it as you want. You can print one big piece 20 by 20, or you can make a little bit smaller parts. It's all up to you. But for now, let's leave it 4 by 4, 200 by 200. Then we're gonna raise a little bit our tab size. We're gonna change our seed. Basically, it means the variation of the puzzle. I usually leave it at maximum. Jitter will define how straight will be our puzzle connections. And then, when we're happy with all the results, we just hit download SVG. Now, for our model, we will have to download this beautiful motorcycle. I found svgart.org where you can download a lot of free models. So we press download free SVG file. And now we have all the parts for our model. So in a fusion, I'm going to create a sketch on the XY plane. I will have to create center rectangle starting from the origin 200 by 200 millimeters. Then from insert menu, I will insert from my computer our jigsaw.svg file. I will position it on top of my rectangle. approximately like this. Then I hit OK. Then I will delete my rectangle just by simply click and hold, then select my rectangle that I've made before, which is this sketch line, and I hit backspace. OK, so now we have to offset each one of the tiles 0.3 millimeters. For that I will zoom in. I press letter O for offset and I choose my sides for the offset and it will be 0.3 and I hit OK. Then I proceed to the next tile, letter O, offset 0.3 and I hit Enter. And I do that with all my tiles. In some cases, like right here, I will have to put minus 0.03 so that it will go inside or I can choose flip in the offset menu. Don't worry if you select the wrong line because Fusion will not allow you offset of the offset. It will show you an error like it showed to me. You would ask why 0.3? It's because I found for this model the best tolerance is 0.3 between all the pieces so that they can freely snap together. But it all depends from your printer. Okay, looks like our sketch is ready. Let's press finish sketch. Now we will have to extrude all these tiles. For that I'm gonna hit extrude and I'm gonna select each tile in my sketch. Just make sure you click in the middle of each tile so that you don't accidentally choose sketch that we don't need. And I will extrude it 4 millimeters high. Operation new component and then I hit OK. So now we have our puzzle with perfect tolerance for the printer. Now let's make a offset plane. We can choose any tile we want and then we just hit OK. Then we're gonna create sketch on our new plane 
and we will have to insert SVG from my computer with the name Motorcycle01. I press open, then we will have to position our sketch with this square button. We can make it slightly bigger, reposition again. And then when we're happy with the results, we simply click OK. So now we have a sketch of our bike. I press finish sketch. And now will be a little bit tricky. We have to extrude all the parts from our bike according to the tiles. We will have to press cancel and go back to our sketch here in timeline. I just right click on our sketch. I choose edit sketch. And we need to project some of the tiles on our sketch. For that, I'm gonna press letter P for project. Then I'm gonna choose the tiles where my motorbike relates to. And then I hit OK. So now, as you can see, our bike is evenly separated for small little parts. I press finish sketch. Now I will press extrude. I will zoom in a little bit and I choose all the parts on my tiles. If you chosen something wrong, you can just click it one more time and it will disappear from your selection. So looks good to me. And we're gonna extrude it, let's say, 3 millimeters more. Operation join, and then I hit OK. Now we can see that our bike is engraved with the tiles. I'm gonna add some text. For that, I need to activate my construction again. I press Create Sketch. I choose my plane. From Create drop-down menu, I choose Text. And I select the area where my text should be placed. Let's say here. Then I will type my text. I will choose font that I like. When we're happy with our text, I choose bold, align center, align middle, and I will change my text height, let's say 16 millimeters, and I hit OK, finish sketch. Then we need to extrude our text, let's say minus two and a half millimeters. Operation cut. And then I hit OK. So as you can see, we have nice, beautiful puzzle that we can also hang on the wall. Let's color it a little bit more. I choose Rentner. Then I choose Appearance. Apply to bodies. I will need paint, glossy, let's say glossy black. I apply on the whole component. Then apply to faces. I want it to be gold and I will apply it to all my faces. Looks like we forgot to extrude one small piece. For that, we're gonna go back to design. We're gonna choose in our timeline, our bike extrusion options, right click, edit future. And in our profile, we will have to select this small, tiny little piece. Now, when it's selected, I simply press OK. I go back to the render and I continue to do some rendering. OK, the bike is ready. Now let's make our letters. Let's say silver polished. Now let's try to render. Let's change the environment. So that's approximately how it's gonna look like. If you wanna see the printing and post-processing results stick around till the end of the video, I would suggest to change filament when the printer starts to print the actual bike, if you don't wanna make a lot of painting like I did. Anyway, thank you for watching and have a great print.